guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Today is December 23rd, the day before Christmas Eve. It's about 12.45 right now. Uh, we have had a busy day already, or I've had a busy day <laughs> already. Uh, I had to film a video this morning um, as a meal prep video. I'm actually really excited about it. I made some good things and uh, I needed it to get sent in for approval, obviously prior to the holiday, so I need to get that, get that done this morning. We also went and got some coffee this morning, and now I have a huge mess in the kitchen to clean up, so I thought I would take you along with me today. I'm also hoping to get some Christmas baking done today. My sister just texted me and said that Aldi has peppermint mocha K-cups, so I gotta go get some of those. I gotta go to Walgreens, I maybe have to go to Walmart. So yeah, running errands, doing things around the house, baking, wrapping, all of the things to get ready for Christmas, so come with me. We'll see what we can get done today. Okay, so I am just going to clean up my huge mess of a kitchen. Anytime I film a cooking video for my YouTube channel, uh, the kitchen just becomes a mess. And so I have dishes that I need to get in the dishwasher. I have things I need to put back in the refrigerator. I need to reorganize my refrigerator a little bit so everything will fit. I have ingredients I need to put away. Um, I did want to mention that cookbook stand that I have on the island there. I bought that on an Amazon Lightning deal for $10 and it is seriously one of the best investments. If you cook a lot, uh, even if you just use like paper recipes or if you cook out of cookbooks, it is super convenient to have that set up on the counter to refer to your recipes as you're cooking. I'll link it down below because I know that it's still available and I think people use it as like a tablet or a laptop holder too. So now I'm getting the clean dishes from the dishwasher put away. I do feel like in the coming year I need to do like a refresh and a reorganization of my kitchen. I've been in it for a little over three years now and there are some things that I feel like I could pass on or donate. Um, I just, you know, it's like that potential space, right? Anytime you have a lot of storage, you just accumulate things and fill it up. And I really want in the new year to focus on just keeping the things that I use on a regular basis, um, especially with having so much storage. You know, a lot of stuff end up, ends up getting stored in the kitchen that might otherwise get stored somewhere else. We also have, have a desk area in our kitchen um, and that's really like underutilized. One of the things that I wanna do with that is to get a stool that fits under there properly and sort of make that a workstation. So if someone's downstairs with their laptop, there is actually like an ethernet plug-in right there. So if I needed to upload a video or something, um, I could do that. So hopefully I'll be working on that in the new year. Uh, but right now I'm just shoving as many dishes into my dishwasher as possible, which is my MO. <laughs> and then I'm going to hand wash the rest of the dishes. Uh, anytime I show this pan, I always get a ton of questions on it. It's the always pan. Um, I am not affiliated with them. I purchased it with my own money because I saw the ads and I was curious to see uh, how it worked and I do like it. Uh, I do not think that it's worth the price that they charge for it. Uh, my friend Christine over at Frugal Fit Mom actually did a whole video reviewing it. So I'll link that down below if you guys want to watch her review. It was spot on. Um, like she said, you can't put it in the oven. You know, I have other nonstick pans um, that work just as well and are much cheaper and can, you know, go on high heat and, and also go in the oven. I hope you guys had a really great Christmas today. I know this video is going up late, but we spent the day with family today and I didn't vlog very much, but I will be continuing to post daily videos throughout the end of December, but I really enjoyed Vlogmas this year. Um, it's just kind of a no pressure way to take you guys with me throughout my day each day. and 
December, I think, is one of the best months to do that because in December, I tend to take time off of work that I wouldn't normally take. And so I feel like I'm actually doing things around the house and running errands that I can like <laughs> take you guys with me instead of just working all day. So once I got all of my dishes hand washed, I wanted to scrub out my sink. I was um, out of my favorite sink cleaner, but I picked up some more of that last time I went to Walmart. It's the Barkeeper's Friend, the cream cleanser. That's my favorite for scrubbing out my sink. I just think it works super well and it rinses off really well too. I just rinse it with super hot water. And then I'm also going to clean my um, garbage disposal. I buy the packets at Walmart. I think it's a Glisten brand maybe. And I know that you can use essential oils and you know citrus peels and things like that to clean out your disposal, but I prefer um, to purchase those. I think that they do uh, a great job and they take away any odor. So once my sink was clean, I turned my attention to the refrigerator. I had meal prepped some things and so there were just some things that I needed to rearrange. Uh, that's another thing that I want to do better at <laughs> in the new year is keeping my refrigerator organized. I know that I don't always, uh, you know, use the space in there most efficiently and I feel like too we just have too many like duplicates of condiments and different things like that. So I don't know, I'm going to have to search YouTube for some refrigerator organization. Um, I'm not necessarily super good at organization. Like I try my best at it. Uh, and sometimes I can figure out what works for me, but I I'm going to try that in the new year. So the other thing I wanted to do was get these grapes washed up. I had purchased them the day before and grapes are so disgustingly dirty. If you've never, you know, pulled them all off of the vines and soaked them before and I soak them in cold vinegar water, you'll be uh, very surprised at what comes off of them. Uh, but yeah, definitely wash those. I know that they do also sell like pre-washed grapes in the store and that's something that I just can't you know, bring myself to buy. <laughs> I know that it would be more convenient that way, uh, but what I could do it myself, I'd rather not, you know, pay the premium for that. All right, so I have to go run some errands. It is 2.15 right now. Um, I told Adam we decided we're gonna skip swim practice tonight because there weren't that many kids there <laughs> excuse me last night and I have a bunch of stuff that <laughs> I just need to get done um, for you know wrapping and I have a video I need to post tonight and stuff and then tonight also we're gonna go look at Christmas lights so we usually have an annual tradition where we uh, go usually like through Starbucks and get hot cocoa and then we drive around and look at Christmas lights when the kids were younger <laughs> we used to put them in their little you know Christmas footy PJs and put them in the car like that and my kids don't have footy PJs anymore it's so sad so right now I'm gonna go to Walgreens pick up my medicine I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a coffee I'm gonna go to Walmart because Connor got some Christmas money in the mail and he wants to get a Lego and then I'm gonna go back home and work on some YouTube stuff hi I had a prescription for Jennifer Chapin C-H-A-P-I-N. Yeah. Thank you, you too. Thank you. I had the jackpot, peppermint mocha, fake cups, yay! All right, so I was super excited to find that they still had the peppermint mocha K cups at um, Aldi. Thank you, Kristen, for texting me that. I've been looking for it all over. In fact, I just looked for it at Hy-Vee yesterday and I couldn't find it either, so. I got four boxes of that. I uh, went to the bank and got some cash out for Kira because she had some Christmas money. Connor wanted to spend his Christmas money on the Lego, so that's what I got him. I, he ended up, I texted him a bunch of the pictures, a bunch of pictures of the ones they had at Walmart. They're super picked over. Uh, so he chose the Star Wars, is it AT-AT? I think is what it's called. It's like that big walker thing. I don't know. I don't know about Star Wars. 
So he chose that, so he'll be excited when I get home. He's gonna have so many Legos to build <laughs> after Christmas. But you guys, I'm super excited. Uh, Hy-Vee, which is our local grocery store, is now offering what they call Hy-Vee Plus. And it's basically like Walmart Plus, um, except Walmart Plus does not deliver to my house. So what it is is it's a hundred dollars a year you pay for the membership you get all kinds of sales throughout the year like fuel saver rewards blah 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 and then you get free delivery of groceries all year any order over thirty dollars like how freaking awesome is that I'm so excited so yeah and I'm actually glad to support a local business as well so free grocery delivery for 2021 things are looking up already I shouldn't say the delivery is free because obviously I paid for it, but <laughs> I paid a hundred dollars for a year's worth of grocery delivery and I'm, I got a $20 gift card back. So I guess really I paid $80 for it, but I've noticed like when I do Instacart with Hy-Vee that they, in, in even with Aldi, some of the prices of the groceries are increased. Um, whereas if I'm just ordering it off of the hy V app, I get all of the prices that I would normally get shopping in the store. So I don't know. That's when you know you're old, when you get excited about grocery delivery. All right, so I'm up here in my office. I am um, enjoying my flat white and uh, some biscotti for an afternoon snack. Have you guys tried this Soft Bite Mini Almond Biscotti from Trader Joe's? It's really good if you like biscotti. Uh, I made homemade bis biscotti one time. I feel like it was a long time ago, but I need to make it again. So I have a crap load of presents to wrap. Um, I think I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna see actually if um, we wanna get takeout somewhere for dinner, or maybe like go through the drive-thru somewhere and we look at Christmas lights. I'm not sure. Adam doesn't like people eating in his truck. <laughs> he got a new truck this year, and by new truck, I mean he got a certified pre owned truck because we don't typically buy new vehicles just because I feel like buying a brand new vehicle is like way expensive like I we have bought new vehicles before and I just felt like it was a waste of money anyway he got a new truck this year a new to him truck this year and he doesn't like people eating in it so we'll see if I can talk him into that So I've been telling you guys that I'm doing a huge sort of like clean out and reorganization of my office. And yes, I'm still working on that. And a lot of you have said you need to film a video about that. And yes, you're in luck. I've actually been filming the process. It's been over many weeks, uh, but there are a lot of things that I need to get taken care of. Um, I have a lot of floor space in this room and honestly, it's sort of like a hindrance when it comes when it comes to organizing because I just make piles on the floor everywhere like while I'm working um, I'll make a pile of something that I need to take care of later etc etc so I do need to come up with some new systems this room also is kind of a challenge because it has a lot of windows and while that's really good it means that there's not much space up against the walls for like shelf storage. Um, so that's another thing I have to keep in mind. So once I was done wrapping presents, we went on our annual uh, tradition of looking at Christmas lights. And since I didn't wanna make dinner, we actually stopped through Culver's and uh, got some cheeseburgers and fries and then just kind of ate uh, while we were driving around looking at lights. We actually stopped here first. This is uh, one of the credit unions in our town. They do a light show to um, the Christmas uh, music station on the radio so you can kind of turn your uh, radio on to a certain station and then the lights sort of you know go in sync with that Connor was very very <laughs> excited about it so this is where we went first we just kind of parked and um, Adam finished his burger so that he could drive us the rest of the way our town this year actually did something really awesome they had a um, interactive map on the Parks and Rec website so you could kind of go on there and plot out your route where you wanted to go through town and sort of see like the best light shows um, so there were some really awesome ones that we saw this street right here they just are there are some older houses on this street and there's just kind of like some classic 
um, white lights, but then we saw a few houses that were sort of lit up like, <laughs> like Christmas vacation. I would love to honestly put Christmas lights on our house someday. Uh, and someday maybe we will, but, um, I have to talk Adam into that and he's not always, <laughs> he's not always into putting up all the Christmas lights, but this display was also super cool. Um, they called it the candy cane forest and Adam was driving kind of fast, but you can see how they have all of those trees lit up. It was so pretty. So we just returned from looking at Christmas lights. This, this room is a hot mess. I have more Christmas presents to wrap. I want to show you guys something I got Adam. So he is, uh, he's been a Chiefs fan since the moment he was born, uh, you know, since before Patrick Mahomes and, you know, the coolness <laughs> of the Chiefs. He was a Chiefs fan before it was cool. Um, anyway, I got him this art print of Arrowhead Stadium and it has is actually handwritten with every Chiefs player ever. How cool is that? So I got him this to hang up in his office. It just came today. Um, it's actually signed by the artist, which is pretty cool. So I can find this and link it down below. I think I got this on Amazon, but I think he will really like it. Um, it says it has 1,292 names in all, all Chiefs players in history from 1959 to 2019. So um, I also got him a, well, I got a frame to put it in, obviously. So I'm going to put it in the frame and then I'll show it to you guys. All right, here it is. Isn't that cool? He's going to be so excited to have that in his office. So I'm going to get this wrapped up and wrap a bunch of other stuff that I need to do. I need to just power through. It's quarter after seven right now. I'm just going to spend the next hour wrapping. I thought I would just show you some things that I got for Adam as I wrap them. Uh, well, and anyone else too. Uh, this is a book that I ordered from him called The End of Everything by Katie Mack. Uh, he likes these kind of books. <laughs> He likes reading. He really, really likes reading. He has read like, I think he said he read like 15 books so far this year, which I think is pretty good. Um, he, he's a big reader, so I got this for him. Um, I know that he likes reading on his Kindle, but he also likes reading regular books, so I'm gonna wrap this next. Okay, so one other thing I got Adam were these um, beer glasses. I don't know if you can tell, but like, they are insulated, so when you're actually holding the outside of the beer glass, you're not touching the inside part, so it's supposed to stay colder longer, and it looks like a beer bottle upside down in there. I don't know, I thought they were cool, so I got him those, and then um, he also got recently got a, um, a new sous vide, like a nice Anova one, and so I got him a couple sous vide cookbooks. This one is sous vide barbecue, so I really think he's gonna like this one. Um, I got him a couple other things too. I don't know. I'm, I feel a mess right now. I don't even remember what I got anybody. <laughs> So I was telling you guys the other day that I did get a new bag. I actually treated myself to this uh, a couple weeks ago. I kind of got it for myself as a congratulations present um, for uh, getting my new job. I think it's always important to um, reward yourself when stuff like that happens because who else is going to do it for you, right? <laughs> so I thought, you know, it's time for me to treat myself to a nice uh, leather bag. And so I got this Ralph Lauren bag. Um, I can link the exact one that I got down below, uh, but it's very pretty. I wanted a genuine brown leather bag. I have a black one, um, but I just feel like I'm at the stage in my life where I need like a good quality handbag. And you guys always ask me about that yellow one on the right. That one's actually not real leather, but I did get it from Stitch Fix. I get a ton of awesome clothes and bags from them too. So um, I'll link their site down below. I think right now I have a $25 off um, coupon code for you guys if you want to try it out. But it's always good to switch everything over from one purse to another because I always just feel like so much crap 
crap accumulates in our purses and it's nice to just kind of take everything out, throw all the trash away and reorganize everything. I honestly never considered myself like a bag person, um, but the older I get, the more I appreciate um, a beautiful <laughs> leather bag. And you know, when you have bags like this, they last forever, right? So it really is an investment. So now it is the next morning. I am making uh, breakfast for Connor and Adam. I had some sausage in the refrigerator that I wanted to use up. And so I just sauteed that in my cast iron pan. Uh, sometimes I get questions on my cast iron pan. How did I season it? I don't know because it was a hand-me-down from, from my grandma. I also fried up some eggs and then we just had toast. Um, I typically don't eat breakfast in the morning uh, with them, but they like it, so I cook it for them. Hey guys, so it's morning now and I... <laughs> I have a few things that I need to go to Hy-Vee to get. I realized that I didn't have enough potatoes to make potato salad for tomorrow, so that would be important. Now, I did not get my Christmas baking done in this video like I thought I was going to. I had too much to do yesterday, so I'm gonna do it today, which for me is Christmas Eve, which is totally fine. I'm gonna spend the whole rest of the day at home cooking and baking, so you guys will see that in the next video, but I hope you guys are having a Merry Christmas. Thank you again for watching and for coming along with me on Vlogmas, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye. Thank you.